Hello, this time I will show you how to upload any image to e-paper display. Specifically, it is about LilyGo T5 uh, 4.7 inch e-paper which has the following characteristics. ESP32 dual core uh, microcontroller unit. 4.7 inch integrated e-paper display with resolution of 540 on 960 pixel, pixels with 16 gray, gray levels. Uh, next, allow usage of touchscreen, 16 megabyte flash memory, 8 megabyte PS RAM memory, uh, USB C type port, a built in lithium polymer or lithium ion battery charger. Uh, next integrated 18650 lithium ion uh, battery holder and five general purpose buttons. Uh, with this display we can, uh, you can make a beautiful retro look picture frame on which to change black and white images. This is made possible by the 16 great gray levels that has this display. You must first download and install the, the display library. You can download it from the given link. This library comes with several examples. They can be found along the path in the Arduino ID program after installing the library. File examples and LilyGo APD47 uh, library. Uh, the example of grayscale, of grayscale uh, that is, it displays the image with stripes with the different shades of gray. It is also an example of working with a touch screen. Uh, next example show, uh, shows the charge voltage and display characteristics. Demo example. And this is uh, the example that displays three images changing changing each other every three seconds. With the help of this example, we can display our custom images. For that purpose, we need to edit the selected image in Paint. Then we need to set the image resolution close to the e-paper screen resolution and save it in PNG format. Next is the most interesting. In the archive with the library, there are not only examples, uh, but also a Python script that allows you to convert a PNG image into a program code to show the image on the display. First, we need to install Python from a given link. Now open PowerShell and with a CD command we go to the scripts folder. In my case it looks like this. Uh, you also need to put a previously prepared PNG file in the scripts folder. Now we need to install the Python imaging library with the following command.
Now we need to convert the file. For example, I have an image called ohrid.png and I will convert it to pig1.h file. To do this, enter the following command. Now in the scripts folder we have the pick1.h file that we need when creating the code. In the same way we, we can convert a number of images which will then be displayed one by one on the image frame. For a simpler presentation I specifically processed three images that have names pick1, pick2 and pick3. Now in the libraries folder in examples, we find uh, we need to find draw images folder, and inside we copy our processed images that have the same names. And that's all. We need to open the draw images example in Arduino ID and upload it on the ePaper device. In the tools boards we need to select ESP32 dev module. If we look closely at the code we will notice that in a very simple way we can increase or decrease the number of images as well as the display time of each image individually. And now let's see what this project looks like look like in reality. As the name suggests, you need to make some kind of frame that will fit the screen. I made this frame on a 3D printer with PLA material in white color. And let me mention that the display is very sensitive and can be damaged very easily, so we need to insert it very carefully in the frame. Finally, here is what the finished picture frame looks like. For the needs of the video, I let the images change every 5 seconds but this time can simply be changed to the function delay and update in the code.